So in this video we're going to hack an open source Space Invaders game and make our very own Santa Claus Conquers the Martians game. Okay, so I wanted for Christmas to do a nice open source hack on a Christmas game, but I did a search for open source JavaScript Christmas games and couldn't find any. One of the links here took me to the openhtml5games.com and the alien invasion game looks like a fairly good simple game. Let's have a quick look at this. I wonder if I can zoom this in. Oh, there we go. Zoom in that in. So we've got a little space invader man, or a little defender man, and he is defending Earth or something from these aliens. That looks like the perfect game to turn into a Santa Claus versus the Martians game. If for those of you who don't know Santa Claus versus the Martians, it's very old. Um, well, not very old. What 1950s low budget movie uh, of uh, some Martians um, capturing Santa Claus. Because that's that's what Martians would do, and it's very badly acted, and a joy to watch at Christmas time. What we're going to do is we're going to convert this game. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how the graphics work. So if I have a quick inspect here, get the network tab on, refresh this page. Hopefully, in the list, we're going to see something obvious. So here's the type. There's type for images. See that sprites.png and there's the sprites tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change those images. Let's save that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make notes as I go along to give proper credit to people where credit is due. Now, because what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be overly choosy about the images that I use. So I'm not going to release the hacked game because then there'll be copyright infringement and all that nonsense. So this is all just for private use. I think it's perfectly legal, I think, for you guys to do this on your own time. So I'm just going to copy these sprites into a folder so that I can amend them. So I'm just going to open this up into paint.net. That's the editor I tend to use. And there we go. So let me save this as new sprites. Or let's say Xmas sprites. If it breaks. Ah, Xmas sprites. So what I want to do then is I think the defender should be Santa Claus. So I'm just going to go online. Let's do Google search. Santa images. Let's look for who looks like a good image for. Let's just look in clip art, that would be easy. Who makes a good. I mean, I'm sure you're looking at this going, no, no, pick that one. I'm going to pick this guy. He looks good to me. He, he's transparent as well. That's good. So I'm just going to copy that. Paste in a new image, then what size is this? About 40 by 40. 40 by 39, okay. Let me jump back in here. I might very well speed up the editing. So when you watch this, the editing might be faster. And let's put Santa in there. There we go. So, let me save that. So now I have an image with Santa in it. How do I get the game to use that image? This is where the, essentially the hack comes from. So to do that, I am going to get the, let me just um, visit the page for this so that I get the URL for who to say that we're using in this video. Now in theory, I, I hope that that is actually free clip art pictures. What's the license? Okay, I'm kind of assuming 
that we've got a license to use this because nothing is obvious and specified here. That's probably not the right way to do this. Okay, yes, Fiddler. So if I get Fiddler up here, and then open up the Alien Invasion game, let me get rid of the Santa Clipart ones here. So if I refresh this, Control F5, Sprites, there we go. So I do a Control F5 to get the application to reload, then I can see the sprites call in here. What I'm going to do then is use the autoresponder, enable rules, add rule, because I've highlighted that it's going to select it. And what I'm going to say is, Fiddler, when a request is made for this file, instead of going off to the website and using it, what I want you to do, and I'm selecting find a file from the menu there, you can't see it. What I want you to do is load this local PNG, All right? So you can see Instead of making the call, respond with this local file. Now let's see what happens now. Control function F5. Let's see if it has network. Let's do that again. I'm sure when you do this, you'll be much more professional. Sprites.png. And there's our Santa in there. Can you just see Santa in there? So that means if I start playing the game now, there's Santa. So Santa is firing, but clearly he's using magic to shoot down these aliens because he's not shooting any bombs there. So we've got a bug there, but we're on our way, right? We've started hacking this and we've started making a game for uh, Santa shooting. So let's figure out how to, there we go. Oh, Santa died. Let's figure out how this works. So if I view the source for the game, the good thing about using normal source is the source is all there. So there's the game. And so I can see here that there's the ship. So the ship is now Santa, so it's starting at 00, zero going with 37.42. Then the missile is starting at 0, 030, so that's the bottom left-hand corner of Santa. We don't have anything in the bottom left hand corner of Santa, so he's not shooting anything. So what we'll do then, let's look for a clip art for a present. And what I want is one where kind of the box side is on the far left and will be visible against a sky. So a nice bright present that Santa could be carrying and will get turned into the, there we go. What is the license around this? Again, can't see one obvious. I'm going to assume that we can use this. So I'm going to copy that image. Let's put this into paint.net. Let's resize this. Tiny! So hopefully that's good enough to get picked up. Let's start Fiddler again. Back to the game. Control F5. Do your thing. Let's have a look. And there we go. Santa is now shooting because the bombs are made up from part of the stuff from his present. This is going to go really well. Okay, so give me a couple of minutes and I will uh, change all the other graphics and we'll come back and see what the game looks like. See if we can actually make a Santa Claus Conquers the Martians type game. And Santa's going to die. Let's get some of the little robot in there. He's quite a big part of the exciting, most exciting moment in the film. He's kidnapped the children there, because that's what he does.
Okay, so that's pretty crude. Um, I've brought in a clip art Santa with the present and I've taken some of the uh, actors and people from the film and just pasted them in there and saved this out into an image. So let's start up Fiddler again. Let's get the game started. Oh, look at that. There's the Martians coming in and Santa down the bottom. Who's next? Yeah, there we go. Take that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Santa versus the Martians. And they are... Oh, look. That's actually the the nice one and there's the evil robot at the end but, oh right now santa is a fairly um peaceful guy so i think if santa just takes the nice approach doesn't kill anyone eventually they'll see the error of their ways and they'll leave him and the earth alone now it's going to be a close run thing because the film has to be exciting so santa's just peacefully telling them don't hassle us, leave the earth alone, everyone is fine, everyone is nice, and oh, it's getting close, it's a close run thing, ah, and Santa is just safe there in the corner doing his Santa magic. There we go. So that's, to turn this into a testing thing, because this, this is a testing video, I do use this technique when I am testing applications and we found a bug in say the JavaScript or a CSS file or some or I want to feed test data into a system that's running in the browser. I will find out which files are loaded in. Say we've found a bug in the JavaScript. We haven't deployed the system with the new JavaScript out into the server, but I can have the JavaScript locally. When the system makes a request for that JavaScript, Instead of uh, trying to use the old version, I can say use this new version which I've stored on my hard drive and then I can test it before we actually deploy it. This is a perfectly valid test technique for controlling your local environment and you can use it to make your own Santa versus the Martians game. Look out for this in your local video shop or it's probably on YouTube. <laughs>